Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvy here, welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we raided this team Starbase. And now we're going to on to explore the general area. See what this area has to offer. thing too because apparently because a lot of Pokemon I don't have tend to spawn in this area during the day. Come on! Prepare Destiny Bomb. One more Dazzling Gleam should weaken it. We call ourselves a Vesta Queen. It raises grubs in its holes in its body. It secretes pheromones to control Combi. What's fighting me? Read on point. What item do we have here? Hyper potion. Some flora here, so let's capture you. One, two, three. Since it converts sunlight into energy, it is always looking in the direction of the sun. I believe that is a detail that Sunflower actually does do. Uh, do. I think Watson Sunflower will always face the direction of the sun. I need a new job. Maybe working in the Pokemon Center near here would be more fun than my current job. Challenged by a Estelle, the office worker.
Gah! I gotta go heal my Pokemon! Kids like you must us keep the workers at the Pokemon Center busy at all times. Ooh. Espeon, I have an Espeon. We got a great ball over here. What's in this Terra Den? A two star that looked like a Voltorb. Oh, come on, you didn't even shake. Yeah, you deserve that. How is that not considered a backstrike? One. Come on! Nice, a critical capture. Dora and Amphi leveled up. This Pokemon was born in a mysterious land. It scatters colorful toxic scales from its wings during battle. Do we have way over there? An Ultra Ball. We got a bunch of different floets. Here we got a Terror Subion. Now something about Suvion I've noticed in this game specifically is that Suvion's eyes will track the camera for some reason. Ooh, critical capture on top of it. Nice. Sio cuts the elegant figure as it dances. It is lightly around, feelers fluttering. But its piercing moves aim straight for the opponent's weak spots. Beat you up because I remember you're annoying to get material wise. Who got lonely mint? 
quickly fight you. Two, three. They float upon the open sea. Many water Pokemon gather around in the area around Aromora. Let's fight this Clonser. One, two, three. Come on! You were practically caught. One, come on! A Pokeball that's supposed to be good at catching Pokemon in the water, it does jack shit! Three. Cannonballs of seawater that claw it, sir, launches from its claws are powerful enough to punch through tanker holes. That's like Ish Ishun, I think this is how you say this Pokemon's name, roughly. I believe Ishun is okay. You just break free without even shaking at all. I believe Ishun is a Violet exclusive. Yeah, you already summoned snow, so that's not gonna work. Oh, come on, you didn't even shake! The Pokemon's in the water, so you should have increased capture rate. Screw you. Dive Ball. Post to have increased capture rate on Pokemon that's in the water. Pokemon in water does not do anything. Why on earth did I use a net ball of all things? Oh, come on! You didn't even shake! Two, three... Come on! You didn't even shake that time! I'm sorry, is it having its ice face somehow make the capture rate harder? 
Why are you not uh, shaking? There you go. If you lick the ice covering its face, you will find it has a faintly salty taste. These species rode he owed here on the ocean currents from, the, from a cold, faraway land. Ooh, I haven't caught floatzels. Okay. It's a common sight around fishing ports. It is known to rescue people and help visitors carry what they've caught. What's fighting me? Okay, that how Lucha's flying into a wall. Here we can find a few items. Like pollen puff and a gibby gold. I know this area because I know a few raid dens can occasionally spawn here. Flower. The power of music! The power of music can bring joy to the world! Challenged by Tatarana, the musician. Kick a tune, a leaf floor out. Hit with the cutledge. Ah, uh, no, thank you. Wanna bring out Grumpig? Sick re Europe. Go for a crunch. to the power of music! Maybe I should worry le uh, less about the power of my music and more about the power of my team. Ooh! That's a Pokemon there I'm positive we don't have. And I was hoping to get the back strike on it. Blissey! One of the best HP tanks Ink ever known to Pokemon. And of course you don't shake. I am not too surprised.
Okay, so even at my level, this should not take it out. Or the game will say, fuck you, it does! Great! Perfect! Absolutely amazing! So yeah, it has a sh shit ton of HP, so it should survive. Nope. Uh, and I believe Blissey is considered rare in this area, I might add. So that's why I'm really annoyed that the game decided, yep, that's going to KO. One, two, three. Six degrees, leveled up to level 66. Fisher say A, that they didn't see many of these Pokemon in the past, but this form of Gastrodon is now increasing in number. Get us as a revive here. Let's see what item is this? Rare candy. I thought there was a trainer roughly over here. All right, there is a trainer. I thought there was a trainer over the on that side too. This gives us an ultra ball. This is so boring. My boyfriend and I came here for a picnic, but I guess I got some free time to battle you. Sounds like Janana, the student. Let's first fight our Scorch Villain. Critical hit, way to go, Dora. Let's bring out Amphi. Give it a good sapping. Oh, how exciting! Honestly, who goes to O's on a picnic for a date? Aren't picnickers for kids? Okay. I, when the game didn't respond to me moving the camera for a second, I'm like, did the game just crash? <laughs> you got Encore. A Dragon Hound Dower, okay. I ran over a flower. There's a trainer here, but before we fight him, I believe there's a cave over here, if I remember correctly. Which there is. Got a Terra Pokemon. What is this Terra Palmo? Ooh, 
through steel type. Critical. Send to the box. But what is this TM over here? This is Steel Beam. Hope this goes well. I came here for a picnic with my girlfriend. I'm so nervous. Help me calm my nerves. Challenged by a, St a Stefan, the student. Did I sold an item out there in the ocean? No, I'm still nervous! Was this a big big step? Is a picnic too much? Too fast? I can't wait to hang out with my girlfriend, just making sandwiches and relaxing together. Yeah, there was an item I saw. And I think there is at least one more trainer. So we'll go find that trainer. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have you. Give me a full restore. Some hyper potions. Yeah, we'll fight this artist and then go get the item at the Pokemon Center. Such beauty! Such beauty, only to be marinated by ugly piles of junk! I can't stand it! Hey, by Desirene, the artist. Got a goth of goth gothel. I don't know why I struggled to say its name. Felix leveled up. Sorry, sorry. Guess I shouldn't have taken out my frustration on you. Is that one of those Team Star bases? Guess they must have put a lot of effort into building it. As this stupid flamingo decides to attack me. So let's go to the center and grab my item. And then we'll end the episode. Hello there, I'm the Pokemon League rep. Have been having nice battles. Here's our prize, which is Leaf Storm. The user whips up a storm of leaves around the target. The recoil from this move harshly lowers the user's special attack. And with that, I think we'll end the episode here. So in the next episode, we're going to explore a little bit more around the mountain before we head to our next destination. If you enjoyed this episode, do you like the videos? It helps tremendously. 
Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below in your thoughts of this episode. And share the videos so that way more people can discover my content up the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later.